This motherfucker is fucked up. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I am your host, James Wise, and today I am doing an episode for my man, Jeff. Jeff, this is the, the fifth video I've done for you. Just shot you another lower income property that you like. We just put in another offer. Then I saw this son of a bitch, and I'm like, dude, I think, I think Jeff will dig this. I think this is going to be right up your alley, because this son of a bitch is fucked up. But I think we're going to make some money on this thing if we can pick it up for the right price. Let me show you what we got going on here. 3823 West 34th, Cleveland, 4 for 109. It is probably, you know, one of the cheapest duplexes you can find on the market. 55800 because it's all jacked up. Nobody's biting on it. It's been on the market for over 30 days because there's only two types of people that are going to buy this uh, at that price. That price would be uh, a total idiot uh, who doesn't know the cost of renovating homes. Uh, all right, no, you know, I lied. There's not two types of people. It's just going to be a total idiot that would pay for that because that, that's too high, right? Because we got to do everything to this. But if we pick it up at the right price and, and we do everything to it, man, we can make some serious money. The projected ROI, if everything goes how I want it to go, could be huge. Now, from the outside, now we're in like a, like a D-class neighborhood. We're near the Metro Health area, which I love because, you know, we, we get these properties dirt cheap. We put Section 8 tenants in there, and then Metro Health is investing a billion dollars into the neighborhood, right? So we may get some love on the appreciation side. So we can come in early, come in while prices are cheap, make some money that way, and then possibly on our exits, we could be exiting huge, right? And the outside of this property, you know, with, with how fucked up it is, all things considered, doesn't really look that bad. It looks like it's already vinyl sided, so you don't really have any lead-based paint issues to worry about. Uh, from the side of the home, we're going to probably need to do some love on the porch. Uh, but the units inside, that's when it gets a little wonky, right? Uh, they're all, you know, they're all just jacked up, right? You're going to have to do everything and everything to these. Like, i thinking that is, that could possibly be, I don't know if this is a garbage bag or like a burn mark. I think it's a garbage bag. I'm not sure. It looks like we got some broken windows here. Peeling paint right there. I mean, everything on the inside of this thing, you know, it's all screwed up. As we cruise through the photos, it's just going to get worse, right? Like, here's all this jacked up kitchen, obviously. Bathroom, of course, you know, just about as jacked up as you can possibly get. Uh, then we come into, you know, this room over here. We got some serious water damage. Other kitchen totally fucked to holy hell, right? So, we got to do everything to this, right? So, what we need to do, Jeff, we need to beat down the seller. And I don't think it's going to be that hard because, I mean, again, who's buying this thing? Like, total idiots because the, the numbers wouldn't make sense at 55000 It's just too much money. Even if you're doing the work on your own, like, yes, if you're doing the work on your own, you're like a you know, one-man shop handyman, yeah, you can get the work done cheaper. But that would probably be the only logical buyer, right? Uh, other than that, like, the, the renovation is just extreme, right? I mean, there's not a lot of companies that are even set up to do a renovation this large. Holton Wise, don't worry, Jeff, Holton Wise, we can handle it. Uh, and I'm going to go through the pricing on that for you in a second. But all that said, 30 $30,000 is the price I want to see you pick this up for. I want you to spend 30 acquiring the property. And then I want you to spend 50 grand paying my guys to fix this bad boy up. $50,000. That's fucking crazy, right? $50,000. Almost double what I want you to buy the house for. Let me break it down for you though. Unit 1, unit 2, right? Two units cosmetically. You got to fix them up, right? Patching the holes, redoing the floors. Doing the kitchens, doing the baths, right? We're going to have hardwoods throughout. Those are going to be refinished. We're going to have agreeable paint in both of the units, white trim, kitchens and baths, both going to have a Lone De Home Depot Lowe's quality uh, fixtures, and we're going to have matching vinyl allure flooring in both the kitchens and the baths. Now, to do all that, it's going to be approximately 15000 per unit, so that's 30000 Being that this house is just totally beat to all fucking hell, I'm going to assume we need to do two furnaces, okay? So that's going to be another 6000 yeah, we're going to need to do two new hot water tanks. That's another 2000 Seen a lot of water damage. 
damage, so we're going to need to do the roof. Maybe, you know, you're going to have to do some stuff with the roof, see where the leak damage is, blah, 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 blah. We're going to tack on another 8,000 right there. Then, of course, we're going to have to do the plumbing in the basement. I'm pretty sure it was copper at one point. I highly doubt it's still there. I'm sure they went in and stole that, so tack on another two. That brings our grand total thus far up to 48,000, and, you know, it's a big son of a bitch, right? It's a big-ass fucking rehab here, so let's toss another $2,000 out there because, you know, I'm, let's just round that son of a bitch up to 50, bro, because I'm sure we're going to find, my guys are going to find something, right? I saw some broken windows, some this or that, right? So pretty sure we're looking at 50, right? I would not, if I were you, assume you can get this thing put together for anything less than 50, but, but, this is where it get, get it gets good, man. I just stay with me, brother. I know it sounds crazy to do a fifty thousand dollar rental, but dude, you buy it at thirty. We put the fifty thousand dollar rental in it. Each unit is three beds, one bath. They'll be section eight ready at that time. We could put tenants in there on the section eight program at eight fifty a piece. So you'd be bringing in seventeen hundred a month. That's twenty thousand four hundred a year. Now, when you break that down. On an average basis, I anticipate you're going to spend $9,987 a year operating this thing, right? So your NOI is going to be 10416 Now, if you'll notice, I do this on every property, okay? I hold back 5%. For the capital expenditures, 5% for the vacancy and non-payment, 5% for the repairs and maintenance, right? Roofs, they last 30 years. Hot water tanks, they last 30 years. Or, uh, hot water tanks, sorry, they last 15 years. Furnaces, that's where I was going. Furnaces, 30. Roofs, 30. Hot water tanks, 15. Now, with our $50,000 rental, we would have just replaced all those items, right? So that 1020 that's technically still going in your pocket, but I'm not going to calculate that as your ROI because I know... Eventually, you have to spend that money again, right? But you don't have to worry about that for a whole lifetime almost, right? And then, you know, vacancy and non-payment, right? That's pretty obvious. Tenants don't pay rent. Tenants, uh, you're not going to collect rent 100% of the time, but you're going to mitigate that risk as much as possible with the Section 8 program. And then repairs and maintenance. We're doing a full-on rental, right? Essentially, you're probably not going to do much repairs and maintenance until... The next turnover, right? Section 8 tenants are how to get the longest tenancy in these types of neighborhoods, right? So... 10,416 is our anticipated NOI, right? With an $80,000 investment, that makes it a 13 cap. And then here is the very best part. This is why I love real estate investing. I love real estate investing because of the financing. The way the financing works in this business is why I love it more than any other business, right? You can't start a bar, which obviously during COVID, that'd be a horrible business to start. But even if COVID didn't exist, right? You can't start a bar and get financing like this. You can't start... I don't know, tattoo shop, DJ business, uh, used car dealership. I don't know, man. You can't own a fucking McDonald's doing this, right? You can't get this type of financing anywhere else. By the way, guys, if you need financing, send my team an email, sales at holtonwise.com. And if you want to work with me in the same way Jeff is working with me, send my team an email, sales at holtonwise.com. Give us your phone number. Tell us what you want to do. We'll reach out to you, see if we can't make it work. But back to you, Jeff, right? The financing is amazing. 30-year financing. Because we took this 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 beat down property, put that fifty thousand dollar rental into it, right? Get this thing looking good. Got two tenants in there on the Section A program, paying seventeen hundred a month. I have no reason to believe we could not get it to appraise for one hundred thousand dollars. Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all fifty states, go to holtonwise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. You only put in $80,000 to make all that happen. Thus, the bank could give you back $75,000 of your original investment, leaving you with only five grand into the building after that new mortgage is paid out. You're going to make approximately 6624 a year. You're going to pay yourself back within one year. That is a 132.5% cash on cash return, right? So it sounds crazy to do such a big renovation, but 
if done right, if identified right up front, if you understand how to make a budget, which I do, if you have experience in these types of projects, which I do, if you have the ability to get the job done, which I do, my team has done it hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times. If anybody flies out to Cleveland, drive through these neighborhoods, folks, you're going to see the Holton Y sign on a lot of fucking houses, right? So don't everybody think that, you know, anybody can do a $50,000 rental. A renovation of this scope, just getting it done, is an accomplishment in and itself. But that's why you're all here. That's why you're subscribed to Holton Wise TV. That's why you watch the show. That's why you've paid me the money uh, to find these types of deals for you guys, right? So, Jeff, if you want to move forward with this, that is the path to making a ton of money. If not, just let me know. I sent this to you in a private email, so give me your feedback. If it's too much for you to uh, bite off at this moment, I totally understand that. But this is one where we're swinging for the fences, and I'm very confident uh, that we can hit metrics at least very, very close to this. Of course, there are no guarantees in this business, but uh, from all of my experience and my past projects and things I've done, uh, there is nothing unrealistic that I've presented for you here today. That's all I've got for today's show, folks. Thank you for watching. If you're a new viewer, do me a solid. Hit that subscribe button so you get uh, the rest of our content. And, you know, give me that thumbs up button so you let YouTube's algorithm know that you like the content we're putting out here on Holton Wise TV. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.